Previously, we talked with Bean and Jamie about the things they considered for a kid-friendly cruising boat. If you missed it, be sure to check it out. All right, we've got 13 minutes. So we've got 13 minutes of battery left. Okay, all right. <laughs> and now we're down to the nitty gritty stuff. We're gonna talk a little bit about the cost and money of cruising. So how did you guys afford it, pull it off, plan? So all that good stuff. I think in a, in a nutshell, because we get this question a lot, like how can you afford to go cruising? You've been cruising for eight years, you must be rich. We are so not rich. We ran out of money once. And we're doing a really good job of running out of money a second time. And we spent 10 years before we went cruising, kind of getting to that point. And there was no silver bullet. We made some good choices, we made some bad choices, we had some good luck, we had some bad luck, and most of it just comes down to good old financial, kind of conservative, soft planning for us. Um, being out here, you know, it's it evolves, right? It's been ch it changes over time. When we ran out of money the first time, we stopped the work in Australia. And uh, we were there for a year and a half and saved up enough to be able to get going again. And then now we're looking at what are the different things we could do from the boat to help us earn money. One of them is, you know, writing, voyaging with kids. Um, you know, that'll be a trickle stream of income. Another is uh, other freelance writing, writing on the blog, and there's a trickle stream of income. Jamie's a sail maker. He sells sales. It's a, that's a great stream of income. And then we've got our house back at home, which we still own and rent, and that has gone from being a money loser to being a bit of uh, income, enough, just about nice. enough to live on. So it's but it's not any one thing, it's like a little here and a little there, and a little there and a little there. And where, What are your big expenses? Like where does most of your money go? Like your boat is paid for, right? right? Yeah, we own two of So that's cool. Yeah. And where's, what are the big ticket items? So insurance. insurance. <laughs> it's like boat insurance or Bo people insurance? Both. Yes. The combination. Oh, yes. The boat plus people together, and it's a lot. And and maybe that some people would say that's throwing money away and prefer to self insure. You know, it, it, and it's a lot. It, it's really not that much, but when you live as uh, on as little as we do, it, it's percentage wise, it's a big chunk. But for for what for people insurance, we're maybe two thousand dollars a year uh, for catastrophic insurance, and for boat insurance, we're it's about twenty five. Twenty five hundred. So it's a four hundred to five thousand dollar chunk of money, which you know, back in old old life where we had incomes and stuff, we would say that's just right. It's like five five hundred bucks a month, sort yeah. of. Yeah. Kind yeah. Of. Where now it's like, oh, oh wow, we gotta write that check next month. Oh so god. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. And, um, but after that, it's, uh, it varies a lot country to country. We, we tend to like to be at anchor more than marinas. Um, we're in marina in South Africa because there isn't a place to anchor. But um, uh, kids, it turns out, cost money. Mm -hmm. Some more than others. <laughs> <laughs> and the, are you pointing fingers? <laughs> Don't worry, we're keeping it. Uh, uh, entertainment, field trips, things like that. South Africa has been phenomenal, but it also costs money We've to go out and date parks. We've completely blown our typical monthly spending here. I know, it's like when everything's on sale, it just right. ends up you buy more, well, and so you spend more We, we haven't even been doing that, right? Like Because with the exchange rate, things are such it's, a good deal here, but... And they have elephants and lions right, that you see in the been, wild. It's been the, where else are we going to see these things? We should be buying dock lines because they're going to be half the cost of other places. We're, and we're not even getting... We're not even, we yeah. should be. <laughs> it's all good. We still have so, the cash. But yeah. we, we live cheaply now. Groceries um, are cheap. Food is generally cheap. inexpensive. You eat on the boat more yeah. than yeah. always. Well, not uh, always, but most our, of the time. Our general mode is, you know, we're always anchored out unless we really don't, you know, we shouldn't for some reason, like, we, like here. Um, we eat on the boat. We don't eat in restaurants. And we really don't do the kind of inland travel or extensive travel that a lot of other boats do. And I think those are the three biggest ways to spend a lot more money. And you fix things yourself on the boat. Jamie fixes things. I would like to say we, but I think that it's fair <laughs> yeah. you say Jamie yeah. fixes things. And yeah, it does say. And, and we get by. But, but we also, we like you know, we, we save when we can, so that um, if it means that we can go do an overland trip, we did some great stuff in Sri Lanka, we did terrific yeah. stuff in South Africa. Those are super rare treats, um, but really great. Okay. So, so excluding super rare treats, do you guys have 
any sort of a number that people could base anything by, given sure. your simple yeah, yeah. life for like a family of so, five, three kids? Yeah, family of five. Uh, we spend about $1,500 a month. Oh, that's really good. Yeah. That's cool. We don't spend a lot of money. I mean, that's... I think that was actually my food, my eating out budget before I left Seattle was like <laughs> something stupid <laughs> like that, yeah. right? It's, it's well below the poverty... Um, uh, Income budget for families. So fifteen hundred bucks a month. Family yeah. five cruising. Yeah. You yeah. guys are comfortable. Yeah. The biggest portion of our elephants. budget you by see far. Elephants. Yeah. O outside of um, what I'm going to say are sort of the the boat bits or the things that people might might not do. The maintenance and the insurance. Take this out of the picture. Groceries are the by far the biggest part of that budget, and that has tripled since we started cruising on a monthly basis. Because the kids Because the kids eat. are tripping. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Not a number, but certainly in size. So, Sorry, yeah. If there's a voyaging with kids aspect of the budget, it's when you start and they're small, like the three kids together were like one adult in terms of the grocery yeah. budget, and now they're like three adults. So we just yeah. are, we put this huge jump in what we spend with food. Up next, we talk with Jamie and Bean about their motivation for cruising as a family.